How's it going, everybody? Inskip Gaming here. Another episode of My Garage. Um, the last little series I did, I finished up this Drift uh, E36. Run up here and take a look at it. If you haven't... Uh... Oh, I cannot get this to stay on there. If you haven't seen the videos, then I will uh, leave it in the description right here. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much it. It's, uh, E36. It's got a three, uh, 318, I believe. Uh, but yeah, nothing too crazy. Nothing, it's not really horsepower built. Um, but let's get this moved over here. Uh, so yeah, today I think I'm going to try to finish this, this Trans Am. Um, we're going to lower it. Uh, I got these 22s for it. I think it'll look real good lowered. Uh, it's just a lot of wheel gap right there. So we'll see how it looks. Uh, I did chrome these so it's not red. So, you know, it'll kind of match a little bit better. Um, and we're going to pull out this 5.6 and 4 speed. And is this a 4 or 5? This is a 5. So we're going to put that 5 speed in it. And... This is an, another 318, but we're going to role play and say it is a 455 um, Pontiac Big Block. So, I do have the Nix engine mods, but for some reason, like I'll show you. Nix engine parts. Nothing ever loads. So, even if you go... Uh, let's go 455. See, it, it, it's, it's something wrong with it. So, uh, we're just, like I said, we're just going to role play and say it's a Pontiac Big Block. Painted it, uh, pretty close. It's really bright. Um, actually, maybe we can turn these lights off. Maybe we'll see better. It's supposed to be like a Pontiac Blue, but that's kind of eyeballed it. But yeah, so let's, uh, let's get cracking on this thing. Um. I'm going to try to do the actual car first. So let's... Hell, I'm... I guess I'm a lot further than I thought I was. Uh, so we got to take the fuel line off. Okay, we'll be reusing that. That's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, starter wire. Okay. That bill housing bolt. That one. And then this. And then the motor. Good. Just come on out of there. We'll set this on the floor over here. And we'll pull the exhaust off. And, um, you know, throw this maybe up top. Okay. So I think the wires can stay... Radiator's good. So let's get this thing lifted up. Get these uh, leaf springs put on here. It's a uh, super easy, simple little build. Um, I, I kind of wanted redemption. Alright, so this is a uh, Hold that train of thought, but that's how big the gap is there. And then, see, that's a lot better, I think. I think it'll look a lot better. But yeah, uh, so if if you haven't seen the first video I did on this car, or on a car like it, um, I built a red one. Beautiful car. Um, and pulled the motor out. And back in the day, if you didn't take the oil pan off, the oil wouldn't drain out. Well, they changed that, and I wasn't aware of it. And, um, yeah, so we got almost to go dyno it. And the um, motor went pop. So I wanted to build another one. Oh, shit. Does that every time. Alright. 
Let, ooh. Crap. Alright, I'm assuming that's all five. So you know what assuming does. Just kind of follow this around, I guess. Yeah, good enough for me. All right. I think these wheels look real good on this car, too. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this one's already... Yeah, okay. So we need the prop tool. And we'll go ahead and pull this torsion bar out. And I just, yep. I hate doing that. I think I took the windshield out, I'm not sure. Okay, uh, need this. Yeah, let's tell this over here. All right. Put it down. Oh, what no? Where was it? Oh, it was a windshield. Okay. Yeah, see, that looks, that fitment's a lot better. A lot, lot, lot better. Cool. All right, let's get this cleaned up. And then, pretty much, just start on the motor. Uh, we could keep these leaf springs, but I really don't want to. Um, yeah, let's get started on this motor. We'll probably end up using those exhausts. Um, and then, could actually go ahead and pull this tranny out. Okay, that was weird. Trans is out. We'll keep keep it for something. Right now we'll keep it for the starter. Okay. All right. Boom and boom. Yeah, if y'all got some build ideas, something you'd like for to see me build, let me know. Um, so I got this one going. Um, I am eventually going to build an E39. Eventually. Um, I got this going. This will be kind of like a rally car. I want to put these BMW wheels on it. I think that'd look real, really sweet. Do a livery. Uh, speaking of livery, I still haven't done one for that one yet. I haven't found one. Uh, really busy today, so. Um, but yeah. So I think to to switch the subject a little bit, let's go V8, and then what to do. Maybe all HP parts. And a different kind of intake. We're not going to run a blower, not run a performance. Maybe a quad carb. Or tunnel ram. Something different. Triple carb. That would be pretty cool. That's kind of a hot rod style. Um, maybe we'll run a triple ram on it. I kind of want to change it up a little bit, you know. Uh, I don't want to run stroker. I want to run HP stuff. I must have passed it. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got the distributor. 
the wires. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Heads, we'll just throw the performance heads on it. Um, I wish the Nix engines would work because they've got other valve covers and um, air filter lids and all kinds of other stuff that would be that would come in handy. Uh, we will paint everything on this motor, so all the orange parts we don't need. Uh, fuel pump, flywheel, headers. Got all that. All right, well, that's basically what a motor looks like minus the painted parts. So I guess let's get digging. Um, yep. Yeah. You got a head gasket. This will start there. That would be right side. Hmm. Might need a head gasket. This is a pretty blue. Like I said, it may not be exactly Pontiac blue, but uh, it's a... Uh, it in color. Okay, we need the, the HP rockers. And then we'll need the valve cover with the old spigot. Yep. Okay, um, do the crank. And I got building these motors down to a science. I'm thinking something here soon is going to get a built four cylinder. And it may be that rally car right there. That may be what I put in it. Um, it's been a while since I built a four-cylinder. I've been building a whole lot of V8s here lately. So. I think that's uh, the plan for that. And you know, Moss Piston. Okay, and then we we'll do go ahead and get the old, old filter put on so we don't pull a Wii Play. Uh, we need this head. Yep. I say pull a Wii Play, but then I'm the one that I've blown a motor since he has, I'm pretty sure. So. from lackable but you know good friend of mine I gotta give him a hard time for something okay um now I guess we can go ahead and throw this exhaust on it Okay, I uh, got the clutch to go there, and the pressure plate. Okay. Uh, camshaft. Then we got cam gear. We got the crank gear. Time and chain. Uh, go ahead and throw 
that on. I like, I love that red. Wish I knew what color that was. Uh, cool. And we can, do I have, I do right there. Nice. Set that there. Uh, I could I could go get the horsepower spark plugs, but again I'm not I'm not that concerned about it because honestly this car will probably set up there next to the drift car until I decide which well, time to get rid of it. Um, if you if you like the little. If you watched my last video, you'll know that this is the save file that had the, the twin lads on it. And also built the Supernatural Impala. Uh, one of the Jesse shop trucks. I built, shoot, I don't know how many now, three or four. I built one on here for this playthrough. Um, saved it in a barn, and now my barn's corrupt, so I just, I'm not able to use barns, but if you see, I got, up at the top right, I'm running like 80 frames, and it's on medium to low. Um, I do have the warehouse down the hill, so that could be an option. We could just store cars in there, um, but I can't really... store them in the barn and not worry about losing them it's just it's one of those things right now i don't really have much of an option so i will have to you know just keep rotating cars out and but that's kind of how i like to play the game anyhow um i think this tunnel ram Thinking that might be pretty cool. Harmonic balancer. We need the front cover. Um, we need a water pump. Thermostat housing. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So the question is, what color? These, hmm, let's mess around with the colors here. Okay, so blue, we could do white. Um, buy a can of white, and we'll paint like the water pump and front cover, the harmonic balancer, and stuff. Paint all those white. That go all the way through. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. I oh, would need an oil pan too, that's right. Uh, water pump. Okay. That should be. Jesus Christ, that's bright. Okay, I guess that's it. I got the fuel pump. Harmonic balancer, which is fully painted, it looks like. Crankshaft pulley. Fan. Again, we're going to be running this little fan. We won't be running the big one. Alright, let's get this belt thrown on there. Alright, so the intake... 
How does the cards look white? I kind of wanted to find like a grayish color. Kind of like a... Almost like a gray for the, for the cards. I don't know. And then we want to see how this looks. Not only bad. Okay. So let's let's get this Pontiac Blue put up in here. Uh, if you're curious on the code, that's the code. Zero zero. Nine zero FF. That's the blue I'm running. Okay, and then that may be like too much over the top. Okay, let's see how this looks. Not too bad. Something a little different. I've never, uh, I don't think I've ever ran this intake set up before, so. Is that everything? Appears to be. Minus the oil pan. We'll paint the oil pan white. And then we'll need some kind of breather set up. Engine. Uh, da, 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 da. This is a 273. I ain't built one of them before. Oh, let's buy one. Maybe build something. Um, I don't forget what I was looking for. Full pan. That's right. Full pan, and then. So that's a ton of RAM. That's velocity stacks. Is there a double velocity stack? Ton of RAM. That's pretty sick. Okay. You can give me my damn wrench. Thank you, sir. Jack wagon. Yeah, I like that. It's got that, uh, that let's go. Now, will it fit under the shaker hood? That's the real question. Is that it? That's it. Whew. It's a hefty looking motor. Will it fit? Drum roll. Mm, maybe. Okay. Got the ground. We'll go ahead and throw this in there. We're already on this side. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything on this side. Bell housing bolts on this one. Sure wire. Boom, boom. <laughs> Damn. Um, okay. That sucks. Very noticeable, too. 
Really wanted to run that intake set up. We'll see what else we got. Quad car. Is there a... Oh, there's a tunnel ran scoop. Maybe the scoop would be better. Oh, no. No. No, it's like, like not at all better. Okay. Um, quad carb. Where is the... Intake. Paintable six pack. I'll buy that too. Six pack. Uh I must be going crazy. Or I'm just really tired of one. Six. It's orange. I don't want the orange one. Got that. Unless that is the intake. Is it? I wonder if that goes on the blower. Kind of looks like it, don't it? Uh, where the hell's the blower? Do, 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 do. Tunnel ram. It's a regular old manifold. Blower. Nope. Try it. It does. Hmm, okay. Let's do this then. Let's see if it's any uh shorter. Don't really look like it. But I have been wrong before. Maybe just throw this intake set up uh, on the shelf. Barely, but you can't really see it. So I think that's the one we're going to run with. Uh, it's not perfect, but... I mean, neither is this car, so. And I've never, uh, I've definitely different, definitely have never used this one. Oh, ready? Okay, so we'll need... Put this up. We need coolant and we need oil. Probably going to run across the street. Get coolant and oil. Yeah. I think. I think that's all we need from over here. That is an ugly building, but it serves a purpose, you know. All right, pull this off. Let's 
All right, I'll pick y'all up when I'm done. Okay. Uh, I did go ahead and throw the exhaust on off of this motor. I don't know what in the hell this one's doing now. Um, but yeah. So, should be ready to bark this baby off. Uh, let's move this lift. Transmission's in it, right? Fluids are in it. Um, motor's just built by yours truly. So, let's see what she does. So, damn e brake. I tell you what, why don't we do this first? Let's uh, quick save it. Okay. why it won't let me I keep... there it is a good looking car Let's take it to the beach maybe a little photo shoot Ooh, oh oh hold on to her why do I not have brakes I have no brakes that's me standing on the brakes E brake, E brake. Okay. What in the hell has happened? All right, I ain't got no brakes. Awesome. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do something that y'all y'all want to see. Just bear with me. Some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. Okay. car. God, I ain't gonna break so. <laughs> what is a good looking car? Man, I like it. It's probably my favorite mod car right now. Uh, obviously, I like it a lot better than the uh, than the uh, third gen one, but all right. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Oh, hold on to it. Hold on to it. <laughs> oh, I love destroying cars. My favorite. All right, I don't know what in the hell is going on here. Can I get out? No? Can I get out this way? The little TA that could.
Mm. That was a pretty good jump right there, if I do say so myself. All right. Uh, back to the garage. Back to the garage. Holy shit. It done kebobbed on the lift. <laughs> awesome. Right. All right. Garage. You know what? It is what it is. I'll just reload the save. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I know it's kind of kind of different. It was just slower pace, you know. Uh, lower in kit, wheels, and motor build. Uh, this one, I'm probably going to try to do this one in like a two-part. Um... And then we'll take them out to the racetrack. Maybe that one and the drift car. And uh, yeah, we'll see which one can run a better time. Or this one may just be like a junkyard run car. Um, I think that'd be pretty fun with the turbo. So we'll see. That's a future video. Uh, and again, if you've made it this far, I want to I want to thank y'all. Um, my channel's been growing like crazy, and uh, it's awesome. So if y'all have any suggestions on what to build or what to do for a future video, leave it in the comments below. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all on the next one.